can you sort of walk me through what happened with the ejection and were you surprised that it happened? Uh, was I surprised? Yeah. I was extremely surprised. I mean, y- y'all all saw what happened. You might not know what I said, but I mean, I guess whatever I said doesn't matter at this point. Um, I don't agree with that. You know, one of the assistant coaches was there with me, doesn't agree. Um, but it, it doesn't really matter, right? You know, the, it's like the ref's word against ours, and at that moment, you know, when they throw you out, they throw you out. Even if I was right, you know, they could go back and talk about it after the game. It's, it's not like we get that game back. I don't get that time back. Um, so, you know, it's unfortunate, but it's like I said, I can't change what happened. Uh, you know, just how players, you know, we compete and affect the game. The refs have an effect on the game. Uh, so, you know, they threw me out and right or wrong, you know, it's their word against ours. And um, I can't, you know, can't get that time back. So, Jason, are you, there are usually some like magic words that get you. Uh, so are you saying that you didn't say any of those like magic words that might have like triggered a because both you had two you had both officials, not Bill Kennedy, but you had two other officials kind of at the same time to make make the signal. So uh, it's like they yeah, both they were, it seems like they both heard something. They was ready. It's like they was they was ready to throw me out. Um, and that, again, one of the magic words that I cussed. No, I didn't. I didn't have to say a cuss word. Uh, and, you know, if you watch the clips, you probably can read my lips. Um, no hand gestures. Me and Bill was having a conversation, um, and the other two refs. And again, like I said, refs can have an effect on the game. They do have an effect on the game, uh, on the outcome. And whether, you know, I I don't, you know, I don't agree with. I don't. I've been in the league long enough. I've seen a lot worse behavior and reactions get tolerated for a lot longer. Uh, so, you know, for those two to throw me out the game, uh, I was shocked. And, uh, you know, it's like you always say, get your money's worth, right? We get fined for these texts. And I definitely did not get my money's worth uh, for getting thrown out the game tonight. Uh, but, you know, even if the refs were wrong, is you know, they still got the ref the game. They're going to get the ref the next game. I got thrown out tonight, but, you know, it is what it is. Adam? Jason, what were you upset about initially? Was it that you thought you were fouled, that they called the foul against you? Like, what was your what was your first frustration about that kind of led to you being upset? Yeah, I feel like I got, uh, I feel like I got fouled on that. Um, I was just trying to have a conversation about that play. Um, and it was just kind of as simple as that. And do you go like do you watch it in the locker room after that or what what did you do? Uh did I watch the game? Yeah, like what do you like what do you do during that time? Like or just obviously you're watching somewhere, like what's Yeah, I watch the game. Yeah. <laughs> so like Joe has talked about at this point in the year finding value in every, you know, step. Like he's like the wins and losses don't aren't a huge deal, but he wants to find, you know, things that you can take with you later on. This is one, you're out, these guys find a way. What did you appreciate about that and how can that maybe help you guys down the road? Yeah, that, you know, um, throughout the game, we didn't necessarily play well um, up to to our standard. I just, I love the way that we, you know, still figured out a way to um, to win the game. You talk a lot about how you hate wrestling, you hate missing games. So how much (laughs) do you hate it when you have to go back and watch the rest of the game? And then how did you feel like the team did trying to close out a game without you for like the first time this year? I, I mean, yeah, I was frustrated. Um, again, I didn't feel like it was warranted to get thrown out the game. Uh, you know, uh, I hate not being out there to help the team win. I hate, you know, for all the people that came, maybe it was some people's first game to come see me play, didn't get to see me play the entire game. Uh, but. You know, we still won. So um, there's some positives that came out of tonight. Last question to Gary. Mason, do you shower first? Do you go out? Are you really upset like that? Do you throw stuff? What do you do in the minutes after you're ejected before you chill and watch the game? 
again, I wasn't that fucking mad. Like, <laughs> don't put that narrative out there. I didn't throw nothing. I said what I said. There was no magic words. I didn't cuss. Assistant coaches right there, you heard me. I don't know. They, maybe they didn't want me to play tonight. They was eager to get me out of there. And I walked back calmly. I sat in my chair, got some ice. I was not mad. I didn't throw anything. I was just like, it was like a joke. I, you know, I was like, I had to laugh it off. Uh, so no, I ain't cry, I ain't throw anything. Got my ice, watched the rest of the game, watched us win, um, and got ready. Presented by your New England Ford dealers.